All right, so I think if I wanted to, I could get to the drive belt without taking off the deck, but taking off the deck does make it easier to get to and easier to see, and it's not very hard to take off the deck. So let me show you how real quick. All right, so the first thing I would do to get the uh, belt off of the deck is to remove this brace right here, this belt guard. We need to uh, remove that anyway to get to the drive belt. So it's just a half inch uh, bolt on both sides. And let's get that out of the way. So this mower doesn't have a PTO, so just make sure that the belt engagement lever is off and Voila, comes right off. All right, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and get this bolt loose while the tractor's up in the air and it's easy to get to. Um, I won't be able to get the pulley all the way out because of this bar right here that's connected to the deck, but at least I can get it loose so that I can get to it easier. Next, we just wanna get the belt from around the pulley. Now make sure your clutch is in and that will loosen the belt. So this is just total, oh, it came off. Okay, good. So as you can see, I think we're gonna need a new belt. All right, I got the mower back down. Now you're gonna wanna make sure your deck is all the way down so that the wheels are pretty much touching the ground if they'll go that far. And just remove this bar that's in the front, all right? That's the one that was in. I thought was gonna be in the way. There we go. That releases that. All right, now we've got these pins right here on the back of the deck. Just pull that out like so, and just, uh, that's it. That is loose, and uh, there's one more like this on the other side. I'm not gonna show that one. I'm gonna pull that one too. Uh, these can be a little bit of a pain in the neck. You kinda gotta give it a little twist, and then pull it like that. And that's it, it's easy. We'll push the uh, idler in a little bit to give it some slack. And then All right, so we've already got the belt off of the engine pulley. You saw that earlier. So I'm just going to take off whatever's left of this belt. Yours will probably be in better shape, but uh, <laughs> I got what I got here. We do have a little belt guard right here that I'm going to remove. It's just a 3 8 wrench to get that loose and out of the way like that. And by the way, I've already pulled out the battery so I can access the top of the uh, transmission pulley. All right, that belt is out of there. Now, one thing that I'm thinking about is, well, why did the belt get shredded up in the first place? So now's a good time to kind of check your pulleys to make sure there's not something going on there. Those all seem pretty good. And also give the transmission a spin. You never know if it locked up or not. No, nope. everything looks all right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put a new belt on and then hopefully it's gonna work. All right, now in this model, I'm gonna have to remove this pulley because there's some belt guards in there. Now, if your model has the electric PTO, you probably won't have to do this. The belt will just go around the uh, pulley and there won't be any belt guards in the way, but not here. So this is just a 10 millimeter uh, head on this. You might have to hold the pulley with one hand. And if you don't have an impact, you'll have to find some way to lock the pulley. Just get the fan out of the way and then see the belt guards right here will be blocking the belt. So let's just go ahead and feed the belt through. And just lift up on the pulley. Enough to get the belt on. And put the fan back. So you're just going to want to work the belt up through here. 
Now, if you notice, the steering column comes down right through here, right through the center. So the belt isn't going to go into the center, obviously. It's, it's not going to work. So you have to feed it through on this side. Uh, if this were a car, it would be the driver's side. It's the brake pedal side. Uh, so feed the belt through on that side. Okay. And then up around to the engine crankshaft. One thing I wanted to mention before we put the pulley back, if your pulley is rusted on there real bad, you're going to have a really hard time getting that off of there. You don't want to try to bend up the V-pulley or anything like that. So the solution would be is to bend these uh, belt guards back right here so that you can get the belt on and off and then bend them back when you're done, okay? Now if yours isn't rusted, you might want to put a little bit of anti-seize on the crankshaft. So just kind of smear it all over the crankshaft. It just needs a really light coat is all it needs so that that will come off in the future. So we have a spacer right here. The smaller side of the spacer goes up towards the engine and the wider flange side go will go down towards the pulley, okay? So that's the way I'm putting that on there. And then make sure your keyways are all lined up right here and you'll just have to work the belt onto the pulley. Just kind of give it a little pull right there. Yeah, I know, it's just whatever. There we go. So I'm just going to put this bolt on right here kind of loosely for now. And of course, don't forget to tighten that up later. So if you notice, this pulley is flat. This pulley has a deep groove and this pulley has a deep groove. The back side of the belt, the flat part of the belt will go against the flat pulley and the V part of the belt will go into these V pulleys just like this. All right. You're also going to want to do this with the clutch pushed in. It'll make things a lot easier. The belt will be loose enough to slip on there. Just like that. All right. Now when I let the clutch out, it should tighten up real nice. Let's check that. Here we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Tightened up quite a bit. Very good. No problem. Just like it's supposed to be. One thing that you might want to look at is this spring right here. This spring needs to have enough tension on it. If there's not enough tension on this spring, that can cause your belt to wear out prematurely. Uh, so just kind of check that spring and make sure it seems like there's a good a bit of tension on there. Right now, I think we're in and looking pretty good. We're just gonna put the deck back and we're gonna give it a test. Just as soon as I put this belt guard back right here, you don't wanna forget stuff like this because the belt will come off and then you're gonna be like, what happened? All right, so as you can see right here, everything's working good. Uh, no problem at all. We're running it through the yard, and I wound up cutting the whole yard, and it's uh, good to go. So thanks for watching this video.